Last time I got shot half to death by an old man who talked about his long silver bullet a little too much. Or at least he would have had I not shot him out of it. And uh, we kind of screwed up saving both hostages, so that part of the mission is, the, is kind of a failure. So, uh, whoops. All we can do now is see if we can stop that Metal Gear. But before we move on, I'd like to grab this ration over here. Didn't pick this up last time because clearly I predicted that I'd be terrible at video games and as such would have a need to come back. Not really, I could have just eaten the ration before, picked that up, and I'd more or less be in the same spot. I suppose I just prefer eating my food on the brink of death. Oh well, whatever, what's done is done, it doesn't matter that much because in the end I still suck at video games. So on this floor we actually have guards patrolling now, so I hope you explored everything. Honestly, they can be a little difficult to navigate around, but they're really not too bad. The trap doors can be a bit troublesome, so make sure you know where those are, just so you don't accidentally uh, stand out on a spot where one of those are, because that'll be the end of you. Also, since we have this level 2 card key now, we can open this door and, oh, this looks like a trap. And of course it is. If we use the cigs, we can actually see their lasers here, but let's not use the cigarettes because thermal goggles are much, much better for this situation. Because, of course, cigarettes will kill you slowly, and you can, you know, see the entire little laser here. This is the FAMAS, which is a decent gun for enemy encounters, not so much for bosses. Because it's got a lot of ammo, fires quickly, and reloads quickly, but as you probably noticed back with Ocelot, bosses do have an invincibility frame, so honestly, from my experience, the damage you do with the FAMAS isn't that much different than the damage you do with the, uh, SOCOM here. Now, we actually have two codec calls to make. The first one we actually saw in the mission briefing, and it will also be brought up later in the game if we don't get it, but let's call this person now. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Sarah. So yes, this character, you never have to call her at any point. She never really gets mentioned other than just one point in the game, I think. And also, she doesn't really have a huge impact on the story, obviously enough. Uh, even in later games, like, the most impact she has is she wrote a book, and that's all they really ever mention about her after this game. I was happy to accept. Kind of feel sorry for the poor we lady. Not ah allow well. Terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. You have a Those cigarette and everything. Are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? Either that or the it's a very elaborate prank. And allow that to happen and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. So that's Nastasha. The other call we have to make is, of course, to Meryl. Now, when they say back of the CD case, they mean there's actually a screenshot of the uh, codec with Meryl on the Metal Gear Solid CD case. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. I didn't actually see it, but I assume you just kicked the door down or something. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. And just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. I'm you gonna be as big yourself. as possible. You think you're some kind of one-man army? Yes. I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Kind of uh -huh. is, Snake. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The and continue to call solid you. Snake? You? But you're a moron! Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, it's I my old tactic. That. I flirt with women and then realize I'm terrible. You saw my face. It kind of gets me down most of the like time. Him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? No, that would just be silly. So what's the deal, then? Who knows? 
Why don't you ask him? I'm sure he's a cordial first, guy. I want some information. Totally reasonable. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? Lots and I'm lots sorry. of push-ups. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? And okay. everyone knows you but see, you. This place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the I test wouldn't call the Next Generation Special warhead. Forces here, personally. I would kind of think they'd screw because something up. Oh, whoops, I accidentally dropped the warhead. What was that noise? And then they'd all explode. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Money and mm, big boss pieces. I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Excuses, oh, yeah. excuses. Yeah, you have to bring that one up right? every time. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Really? Anyway. What, like what? Are you talking about, do you have access to pocket dimensions? Is that it? What? Heart attack. Same as the <sighs> Females hiding their pocket dimensions. Yeah. Why don't We've men get pocket anything. dimensions? No, I mean, really. Well, I don't believe I want in pocket dimensions. Something funny's going on. Hey, really mm. convenient. Sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement. Second floor yeah, basement. That's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. They're not really so forcing him. him they're just, him. That's they're just off in the corner being like, hey, go work on that stuff. Right. We're just going to be over here having a sandwich. Can't the uh, you, can, you can't actually I have a sandwich until you complete your work, so just do that you stuff. And take that thing on it's a good yourself, sandwich, right? trust me. The guys, we got this from time. Amazing. They do great oh. sandwiches. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? Walking, probably. There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Whoa, are you like the president or something? The doctor. You, you mean like go. the president president, I'm not the president of a company? You. No way. The president only You're had a level two card green. key. I want you to hide somewhere. No, I'm like you're literally green. green right now. Yes, you are. Kodak makes everyone green. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Not Good really. You can you can forever. stay for a second in front of these guys. I don't know what they have I to just take a moment to go, right huh? Right and have I a little exclamation mark appear training, above their head. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl. I always dreamed about being a soldier. I'm gonna shoot day people. Of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one I could day. stand on grenades and everything, but shooting people is really difficult. Now, so what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Except me. I enjoyed it. Killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war. All of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. That's why I'm here. forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. Terrorist action! You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. Well, yeah, most we'll people do it nowadays. Later. It's now, really kind of... Just think about yeah, keeping yourself alive. Loose morals, yada, yada, yada. I'm out of here alive. I'll think about which other stuff? Okay. There's a lot of other Let stuff going on right now. Way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Well, That's yeah, I mean, Uncle Snake's said. parents were probably uh, never married, so he is actually a literal bastard. Legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> 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 okay, what are we laughing about we'll awkwardly? Girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Nuh-uh. Tell me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? 
After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Before we go on, I'm just gonna spite this warning right here. No smoking, you say? Well, look who's smoking in front of you, wall. Ow. Ow. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's not die anymore. So yeah, the codec is on the back of the actual game CD case. Probably an anti-piracy measure or something like that. Or maybe it's just because Kojima's kind of weird. Probably a combination of both, but... Anyway, it's back to the first floor with us. Nothing on the uh, other basement, I believe, because it's uh, just a couple of other higher level doors than level 2, so nothing to worry about there. But we're not... Oh, it's a call. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Why did you Don't spell that all weird? Much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. Without the mask. Oh, there we go. You won't be for long Why didn't she you take walk? it off for Snake? I mean, this mean? is basically a phone call. They can't uh, see each other, right? Listen, Snake. The car right? door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait. You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Oh, uh, Snake, I've got bad news. I'm playing this game. I gotta get my hands dirty. You're gonna shove them in the snow, and I'm gonna be all dirty. So yeah, don't worry about her, she'll be fine. But anyway, yes, while the door is opening, there's actually a, a, a couple of things you're gonna want to get on the upper level of this floor. So why don't we go do that? Uh, one is definitely necessary, and one is also necessary... Okay, it's not technically necessary, but it's necessary in my heart, damn it. So yeah, easy enough to, to evade this camera, and I believe this right here, yep, this is the level 2 door, where we can get a couple of chaff grenades and the cardboard box. You can you can hide in this little cardboard box here, and you can move around in it, and you can look out of it in first-person view, and it's great. This is the best item ever. Also, you kind of had to change the card key because doors won't open unless you actually have the card key equipped. But anyway, yes, box, amazing. Look at this thing. How could you not love the box? It is fantastic. And less good news, um, there is a guard patrolling up here now, which makes the grading up here obnoxious. And not only that, it's really hard to pass this guy, so while I wanted to do a pacifist run for the most part, I am going to have to murder this man for doing his job. Goodbye. So, uh, yeah, fuck you too, dude. You made me listen to the conversation with Meryl so many times. That's like a 90 minute cutscene, and I had to watch it over and over again because that guy kept catching me. However, over here we have the mind detector, which is definitely a requirement. Uh, for later on in the game, actually. But yeah, you can sh see where mines are. Also, in case you're wondering, the cardboard box doesn't really help, because the thing is, this is a very thin walkway, and if you place the box in somewhere where they will walk in front of, like, if you place the box here, in the middle of things, if you put it off the corner, you'll be fine, but if you get in front of their path, they're probably going to kick the box over, find you, and then shoot you a whole lot. Then again, it might be random. I just ha might have bad luck with that guy, but I've tried so many times to not shoot him, and you know what? You know what? He deserved to be shot until he became a floating box of food. So you know what? No remorse for that guy. I'm just going to shoot him and move on with my life. Why do you keep taking your mask off? Careful, it's unnecessary. Snake. That airlock is set with Essentially a phone call. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there so are I have to put a suit on my eyes, right? Out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. So that's your cue to save because if you trip any of the sensors in here, the doors will lock, will lock and you will die. There's no way to get about this other than, you know, succeeding. But yeah, if you get caught, that's over. You're dead. You'll have to restart. But yes, this section is a bit tricky just due to depth perception and the fact that lasers might end up looking like other lasers. Basically, you want to look at the sides of the walls. Otherwise, you'll get the lasers mixed up. 
they don't move too fast, so you can dash under them without too much problem, but yeah, the section can be a bit tricky, so do be careful here, and of course save beforehand. Otherwise, yeah, you're not going to have a good time. Ah, nice little snowfield. What is it? Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Do I have Deep to? Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? That's your Never first question? That. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? That's your second question? There's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. How does a tank anyway? ambush anybody? It's a tank. Okay, so anyway, as he said, there are mines here, so let's just uh, whip out this mine detector real quick, and oh, what do you know, I'm right next to one. That was close, a little to the right, and I would have done got blown up. But yeah, claymores can be dangerous, but you can actually crawl over them and pick them up. Somehow, I, I guess Snake just moves so slowly, the mine doesn't detect him, and then he just digs it up with his bare hands and then adds it to his, his inventory. Don't ask me how he does that. Not even I know. I don't think anyone understands Solid Snake. He's a man that works in mysterious ways. So anyway, let's just run along ahead. I'm sure we'll see that tank, right? It's a tank. We can't not see it. What? Who's there? Uh... Oh my god, it's a tank! Then the tank puts on a little mustache. Oh, no, it's just a guy. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I have a guidebook, and it doesn't say anything about snakes. So there, you have been dissed. Send him a message. They actually fired out a piece of paper, Snake reads, and it says, Hey, don't, don't go here, or we will shoot you with our tank. Please. That's right. Sign Vulcan Raven. Belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. I'm just giving you advice for this battle. Come, let's fight. Well, yeah, that is very helpful advice because as this battle starts, he's gonna try shooting you. Just, uh, okay, I can't grab that ration. So basically, in order to avoid his shots, you're gonna want to get behind a little uh, hill of snow and just crawl behind it, because if you run around, he's probably going to shoot you, and then if he shoots you, he will laugh at you, causing severe mental damage, and we don't want that, do we? No. Yeah, we're safe right here. I think he will shoot at the same spot each time, so after a few seconds, we should be good to pass by. There's another mound of snow over there, which is an even safer location, so I think we're good to go now. Do be careful because that tank is fairly accurate, so don't underestimate it. Just want to get myself in position. There's also a pillar over there. Uh, after you get close enough to it, it will start moving around rather than trying to fire at you. So, well, fire at you with the uh, main cannon anyway. It'll still fire at you, of course. Just through other mains. Just want to uh, be careful here, and I believe, yes, it started moving around. So this is the hard part. It'll fire a Gatling gun at us. We need to aim a grenade into the cockpit of the tank. I believe you can get it to the side so you'll hit the soldier, but if you aim right into the cockpit, you'll actually kill that soldier in one hit, so you're gonna want some good aim. The problem is, I'm terrible with aiming with grenades. I don't even know what I was doing with that one. I don't even fucking know what I was doing. Okay, that, that other one was slightly better, but I am lich legitimately terrible with grenades. I'm terrible at this fight in general, actually. Basically, just, okay, yeah. Obviously, the tank can run you over. Not much you can do about that other than avoiding it completely like a smart person. Also, something someone would smart would do, he'd avoid standing on his own grenade. So, yeah, basically, just have to maneuver around and get a good arc. Oh, did it did that do it? No, I don't think that did it. Uh, I don't think that was good. Oh, no, that was good. It wasn't a one-hit KO, unfortunately. But I did kill one gunner. Unfortunately, there is a second one in there. So, yeah. Oh, 
That was a terrible place to stand. Okay, so I got run over by a tank repeatedly. Yeah, I've got him halfway dead, but I don't think I have any pride left whatsoever. Nope. None. What's... Oh, God damn it! No, Snake, run! Ugh. I can't believe it. This tank is smarter than me. I mean, it's not really that good a thing to say, but at the same time, it's not too much different than, you know, I'm being outsmarted by the tank, except at least when I'm saying the tank is smart, that implies that it is of a higher intelligence. No matter what, I am dumber than a tank, but at least it implies that I'm the idiot slightly less, right? No? Yeah, you're probably right about that. I don't know why I'm so bad at this. You know, maybe, maybe my problem with grenades earlier wasn't that they are not a very good item. Maybe I'm just not good with them in the first place, and that's why I never use them. Because then I'll get flashbacks to this battle and how poorly I did. And I got run over by the corner of a tank. Yeah, yeah. Okay, look, I can't be the worst at this, right? There's got to be someone who's done worse than this, right? I'm fairly certain there is. Fairly certain there's someone out there who is more inept than me at this. And you thought the fight with Ocelot was bad, but you know what? I'm just the worst... Okay, that... See, this isn't even the game's fault. Oh god, no! Snake, don't crawl on the grenade, you idiot! But yeah, I'm just sort of running into the tank like a moron, because I'm trying to get in close to throw a grenade, but I'm, I'm terrible at lobbing grenades, so... I accidentally run into the tank and it runs over me, and then I don't even hit it with a grenade, grenade anyway, but I think I hit him. Oh, and apparently that counted as a one-hit kill. Sure, why not? Poor guy just sort of falls over pathetically and dies. Just gonna casually loot his corpse. Never usually do this, but... Eh. I mean, if they don't turn into floating food, then what do I care? Thankfully, he does have a level 3 card key. Imagine that, he has exactly one level higher than the card key we had beforehand. Not like level 4 or 5 or 1, like you'd think a grunt would have. No, level 3. Ah, uh, did you see that performance? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Were you paying less attention to that than I did? See? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Actually, no, that was a ninja. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. You tell me this all the time. You don't have to give me this rat again. I'm gonna shoot him a lot more times. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, I will yes, throw the tank at him. Raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. So now, not only do we get a life increase, but we also get a uh, increase in how much we can carry per pretty much all the items. I think it alternates, actually, between uh, ammo and item capacity. What is it, Snake? I made a mockery of myself, Mei Ling. I hope you weren't watching that. That was absolutely pathetic. I will forever be shamed by that tank battle. Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. Oh, finally she's giving me a proverb. 
Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. No, it I need that extra it. ration even if I can't collect it. I need the ration mailing. I really need it. It's important to me, damn it. <sighs> well then, let's never talk about that tank again.